welcome back. Well, I was hoping to get here with Rusty, um, but I think we're a little bit late. <laughs> the, the machines are in the back, um, knocking these ones down. So, uh, like I was hoping to get here with Rusty. Um, there are our houses here. There's a six, one, uh, eight houses. So, uh, yeah, so I'm a bit late, but I'm going to see if I can get around the back and see if I can see the machines working. Because I used to live over the back of these, and I believe they'd been knocked down as well. So I'm going to take a walk around the back. Hopefully you can hear me over top of all the cars. Right, I don't know how well this is in focus, but this is just a bit of good timing, I think. Because this one here, what he, well, he's crushing the one next to it. But, but he's just started taking the roof off of this one. That's where I lived for uh, about three, four months. So, I think that's pretty good timing. We had such a brilliant time here, it's fantastic. There's, the, there's 11 all together. I think there's 11. And, four. and this, this is our one here anyway. And uh, it was like a holiday for three months. I'll just show you quickly. Back of them houses there. Where we're all going. But, that's really funny timing because like I said to you um, that's the one we lived in so uh, yeah I don't think we get a better angle might be able to see what he's doing I repaired that fence along there I don't think you can see it he's actually stopped we uh, see it through the fence if you're under blurry yeah that's where I lived me and the kids we just had Louis Louis had just been born he was about two months old when we moved in here they must be pulling houses down over that side as well by the way it's fenced oh yeah they are look god that's a hell of a lot of houses going that's unreal that's I'm sorry about it going blurred just trying to film through the fence. Yeah, but that's my old house. <laughs> yeah. You don't normally turn up somewhere like this to see something and then you find that it's, it's your house where they're knocking down. <laughs> yeah, like I say, that's a two bedroom chalet type thing. It was fantastic. Wow, I'm impressed with time. We talked about that sort of about right, didn't we? I mean, you might be able to see the sort of site a little bit better goes all the way from over there over there right the way round over there they've just been up with me checking them once I reckon they're going to start them next uh, well, like I say, all houses built. I think there must be over 30 houses I should think including these ones here maybe more but uh, yeah I guess I didn't fill it up with flats this is actually a floodplain this bit so we weren't supposed to build it in the first place, so we were told when we lived there. Um, this car park bit was added um, afterwards. I think that was, I don't think that was originally here when we were here. There might be a little pulling bit. Um, but this was a nice area, but always druggies down here, dealing out there, sex, sitting saxos and shit like that. But um, yeah, I mean, I never had anything to do with the police until I moved here. And every other day they were around because we were at the end. Did you see this? Did you see that? Because it had so many, it was like a place just to go when you was in between houses, and uh, had so many people going through them. You know, you always had the law there. You know, where well, you can see this might be a bit blurry. But see this, this house here in front of us. Still got the curtains in, and the one next door to it. They're privately owned, and. Um, the people are still living in them, so they're not going to be knocked down, they're going to build around. Apparently there's another two houses, according to the bloke who just walked past, there's another two houses on the other side. What they couldn't buy, or they wouldn't sell up or whatever. So that's quite interesting, so literally being built, they're going to build around them. I've just spoke to a bloke from m and Demolition, and he's quite happy for me to film the digger tearing it down if um, they get the hydraulic pipe fixed in time before I go. Uh, yeah, 
hopefully we get tore down. Right, the fear hasn't come to do the hydraulic pipe on this yet, so um, I'm going to dig so I'm not going to wait around much longer to uh, film my old house being knocked down. But uh, like I say, there she is, and she'll be gone the next time we come through here. But uh, I'm going to take a wander up up the road and uh, we'll have a little look as we go up the road at the site I'm going to go because I've, I've got a job to go to unfortunately but uh, like I say still people living in that, that house there there's still people living in that next door and there's one on the end of this row here they're still living in what is amazing because they're going to be building all around them but, uh, yeah there you go oh we've got a machine start perhaps it is starting up more being a machine over the back actually yeah, so that's my house there, just where that bloke's standing, I can see it. Um, it's over there, you just have to get your finger there. <laughs> Fence. So that's the last time we're going to see that standing. Uh, he's still waiting for the hydraulic pipe to be fitted. Crazy, I've got all the stuff in the back of the van to do it, but you know, they're waiting for their contract, aren't they? So there you go. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the last time we see that. So. I'm going to have a walk down the road now and just sort of have a look at some of these houses. And what I might try to do is get back in a week and uh, film some more. Let's go down a bit and we can have a little bit of a nose. You can see the digger over the other side of the site. And, uh, that's the site being the ones where you put down the houses to that to be to the right there, there they're, they're still lived in. But, uh, right, I'm gonna leave this here. Um, I may come back in a week if I've got a chance. I'm soon looking down a few things, hopefully it's a bit wobbly, I know I put it in my hand, I wasn't planning to come here and uh, have all this, I thought that actually would, wouldn't be knocked down yet because um, obviously I was waiting for coming with Rusty and Rusty's got a couple of but we've been a bit tied up but uh, yeah so I'm going to try to get back down here in a week or so, a few days and just see what what's changed and uh, yeah I hope you like this sort of thing, I know it's a bit different from my channel so I'm going to do a lot more of this sort of stuff so I get used to it and I shall see you next time, bye for now